Hi, welcome everyone. What would you do if you have to build an RAG system over complex documents that may contain tables, charts or infographics? Most of the traditional RAG system are highly optimized or fine-tuned to work on documents that mostly contain text data. But if you look at nowadays a lot of reports or complex documents actually contains tables or infographics or even charts. And sometimes even when you extract information and generate response from these documents, sometimes you also have to provide a reference or citation. So if you can show a snapshot of the page from where the information is actually extracted, it becomes very convincing. And that's necessary for some of the compliance requirements. So that's where comes vision language model. So let's look at the tool. You can upload a PDF document, a complex document, which of course it is going to index the page images. Then you can ask a question and it, it retrieves the page and it generates a response and also provides the page here as a reference. So I have for this, I have taken the annual report of Infosys. As you can see, the report contains a lot of information. It contains like, you know, infographics, charts, and also the, the financial report, the table. So you can actually ask question about any of this information that's there in the annual report. So you can browse and upload the report. Uh, it takes a while to index and store it, so I have done it before and I'll show you on the back end, it actually indexes all these pages, add page 1, page 2 to the index and so on and so forth. It depends on the length of the document, it may take a while to index, but once it gets indexed, you can go and ask questions. So now let's go and ask a question. Like what is the percentage of total electricity consumption that comes from renewable sources? And you can submit the question. Now let's wait for the response. You can also in the meantime look at the back end and you can see it actually retrieves the page. Your question is what is the percentage of total electricity consumption that come from renewable sources? And see it has actually retrieved the page that's actually encoded into base 64 and it responds now let's look at yes so 67.52 percent of Infosys India operations come from renewable sources and you can see is also given a reference of the page here which is nice uh, I've also an asked another question about the table what is the consolidated number of cost of sales for the year of 2024 and you can see the consolidated cost of sales is about <coughs> this number and it actually retrieved that number from um, the table then the financial report and also gives a reference of the page so that's a beauty of using the vision language model for RAG so it actually can extract information from infographics charts and tables and you can also have the page snapshot as a reference. So now let's look at the model called Pali, which is actually an open weight model. And uh, if you look at the call Pali efficient document retrieval with the vision language models. And here is the call Pali architecture. And um, you can see given a document, it takes the image of the document and then probably chunks it by different sections. And then each of the section is actually embedded. So this is actually a multi-vector representation. So the one document, you don't have only one embedding, but a different portion of the document has a different embeddings. So the document is actually represented by multiple vectors, so multiple embeddings. So it's a multi-vector representation. And then given a query, so let's say this is the query 
and it also generates the embedding representation for the each of the tokens separately and then the embeddings are then mapped to each of this vector representation and it finds a similarity so for example this particular token if it's a similar to this particular embedding or this embedding and so on and so forth and it checks which has the maximum value let's say this particular token has maximum similarity with this portion of the document then let's say that's point 8 and this particular token has a maximum similarity with this particular section of the document point 7 and so on and so forth and then it basically it sums up the total similarity so all these tokens of the query how similar to different section of this particular document that is taken as a reference similarity similarly it calculates the similarity across all pages in the document and if whichever document has the maximum similarity it reaches that document as the refer reference page and then it sends to the model to extract information then you can send that document along with the query to another model like a gemini model right as a multimodal query now let's deep dive into the implementation of this particular tool we need uh, two models so one model is the model that supports multimodal input and this is for generation so given the specific page of the document and the query it returns a response so you're going to use a gemini model for this and this is the vision language model which indexes every page as an image and generates a multi-vector representation and given a query it retrieves the most relevant page and returns it which can then be passed on to the generative model so this is the retrieval part of uh, the reg and this is a generation part so you're going to use call pali for the retrieval and gemini for the generation and this particular tool has primarily two functionalities one is to upload and index the document and the other one is basically generates a response given a question so the upload once the document the pdf document is received once you read the document you can store it temporarily and then index using the call pali model right this is going to actually index the page and once the documents each page is indexed it also stores the the actual image representation so while storing probably it not only stores the embedding representation each page you can say page one so this is the embedding representation and by the way there are multiple embedding representation because of multi-vector representation it also stores the image in a base 64 encoding because we can actually use that to return when the page is returned for rendering for citation and reference and um, once that is done then there's another function which is get answer given the query and once the query is received it searches for the most relevant document so you can see uh, this is given k equal to 1 you can actually retrieve multiple pages uh, which has the maximum similarity in the probably descending order uh, for the timing i've used only one so return the most relevant page for the query for the given query and also returns the image of the page itself the base 64 representation and once we receive uh, which page it is in the result then i can use the generative model which is a gemini model in a generate content so you can send the the image of the page and the query now gemini is capable of retrieving the information and specific information from the page and returns a response back 
and then when I return the response, return the response as well as the image itself. So both are returned back. That's why you're able to see not only the response as well as the image back. So this is the advantage of using region language model along with a model which sup supports multimodal input, the image and the text to generate a response. So thank you for watching this. I have written a blog about this in the medium. I'm going to share the link to the blog in the video description. You can go through the implementation of it. So it actually provides the code implementation of both the, the front end, the UI, which uses a React and the back end, which is basically what we just went through. So thank you for watching this video and see you next with some other application of generative AI. Thank you.